Yo, what up? It's your boy Red. I'm gonna review Bunny Drop, an anime that's been on my list for a long time. What do I think of it? I think it's cute. I love it. It's actually a really good anime. Glad I finally decided to watch it, right? Um, yeah, like I said, it was been on my list for a while. I think I read about it or read of, of it back in the day, back in like, wow, was it like 2010 or something? I don't remember. But um, I was like, well, one day I'll watch this anime. I never did uh, until now. And it's pretty good, man. What is it about? This guy in his early 30s discovers that his grandfather has an illegitimate child, meaning it's his aunt. Yeah, some crazy stuff, right? And he decides to take care of her since no one in the family wants to take care of her. Her mom's run out, run out on her and stuff and no one knows where she is. So he adopts her in a way. And it's just an adventure of a 30 something year old bachelor learning to cope with the child. I mean, come on, you've been a bachelor that long. You, you know, you have certain tendencies. You have to, you know, focus all your attention on this child now. That's some crazy stuff right there. But it, it's a funny adventure seeing him struggle with the uh, education system, uh, you know, growing up, uh, time. You have to allocate time now to enable to carry or, I mean, take care of a child, you know? It gets some crazy adventures here. Um, overall, though, the art style of this anime is pretty legit. It's kind of like a blur-ish, you know, pastel, chalk kind of feel, and I love it. Um, the expressions are great. They're funny. They make me laugh. Just the adventure of this this duo right here, it's pretty great. Um, there are the hints, you know, him trying to figure out who the mom is and, you know, allocate, allocating resources to find her. We do get that confrontation find out why she left her and you know it's one of those scenarios where they were young you know and you gotta leave your child behind with someone and hopefully you pick a good person and let them take care of it and luckily our main character is a good person and takes care of the girl right um what else uh, uh making friends we get to see our main characters make friends with both parents and children because you know they're adults I mean, one of them is an adult. So we have Rin, right? The girl who is the aunt of Daikichi. Daikichi. Which is funny because, you know, it's an aunt and that's her nephew. It's hilarious already. Rin is, you know, shy in the beginning. Doesn't trust anyone. Later on, warms up only to Daichi. Daikichi. And then uh, Daikichi is basically your, you know, run-of-the-mill worker. Uh, very cool dude, level-headed. Uh, actually, right away, forms a relationship with Rin. Actually, when they meet, you see that in the beginning, uh, he looks just like his grandfather, apparently, when he was younger, so that's funny. Maybe that's why Rin took to him. And uh, he's just, you know, looking out for Rin, taking care of her. Uh, actually, even gets a demotion at work just to be able to get out in time to pick her up from school. You know, stuff like that, and it's pretty interesting, you know. You, you know, it shows you the level of commitment to a parent, guardian, whatever, of them committing themselves to their child, right? Um, there's only 11 episodes, so it doesn't cover, it covers like half of the volumes of the manga. Uh, if you want to know more, you read them, I did, uh, and find out what happens after uh, the last episode, which kind of goes 10 years forward in time, so Daichi was 30, Daikichi, and then now he is 40, and she is 16, 15, I forget the age of their, and relationships starting to change, actually, you get to see that, uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys want me to spoil it for you guys, but hopefully one day they'll make a season two. I don't think they will, though. It's been a long time, 10 years. But that's exactly what I said about the devil as a part-timer. So who knows, right? But um, yeah, man, the, the manga is definitely a read. I enjoyed it. Um, it ends in a way I didn't think it was going to end. I was like, whoa, okay, whatever. It's the ending that the author chose at the time, and a lot of people didn't like it, but eh, whatever, man. To their own cup of tea, I guess. But the music is pretty legit. It's pretty, you know, childish, upgrowing kind of thing. So it all fits together in a way. Um, but yeah, hopefully they ever make a season two. I'll definitely watch it. Definitely worth your time to watch this anime. I enjoyed it. You guys will enjoy it too, probably. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know your style. If you don't like Moe, you won't like it, right? <laughs> what is Moe? It's an old term. They don't use that anymore. They use something else. I don't even know. Um, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I enjoyed it enough. Uh, that I recommend it to you guys. Um, also, don't forget, still selling merch down below. Links, you know, hit it up. If you guys want some cool merch for the winter, 
I haven't tried the sweaters yet, but you know, you never know. But uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.